wide band closed loop fueling with this stock ECU, no problem. Works great. Hey guys, well, welcome back to the channel. We're at the track. I drove the truck to work and uh, yeah, came to the track afterwards. So we're gonna see what it can do. I haven't really made too big of changes since I really pushed the truck too like hard before. Um, the biggest changes uh, since I pushed it pretty hard were uh, the valve springs, which I think could be significant. I know they're floating at higher RPM and high boost, so hopefully that will help with a mile an hour. Not really sure. Uh, but if we get into enough boost tonight, we'll find out. And then the only other real big change is my new custom operating system, version four. And the biggest feature that I'm gonna test tonight, which I haven't tested before, and I don't know if anybody else has tested, or at least they haven't posted about it, is the closed, closed loop wide, wide band fueling. So yeah, I'm excited to learn about how that works, how good it works, if there's anything I can tune on it, or if it's just good to go. Yeah, I got the truck in race mode. So we're gonna get up in the lanes and uh, yeah, see what happens. Uh, first run, I'm gonna try and do a schmedium boost. I'm gonna try and do maybe an 11 second pass. duty cycle Let's see what kind of boost that makes and then we'll just turn it up from there safety was uh, kicking in because I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the max boost I can make on the uh, wastegate so we'll have to see what the heck is wrong with that okay well that first pass was terrible at least probably two hours has passed since that pass and it's dark now there was a ton of oil downs and now I'm just about to get my second pass in 1030 at night so this is gonna be my last pass for the night and hopefully it works. I had all kinds of problems that last run. I've since turned the closed loop fueling off uh, on my tune, because I'm not sure if that was causing any issues or not. So yeah, hopefully uh, now I'll also get a data log of the wideband because that didn't work. So yeah, here's to hoping.
it pass. Nice. Woo. Nice. Oh, that was concerning. Ooh. Really glad that that worked. And that was only nine pounds of boost. So, wow. That fell quick for nine pounds of boost. Have to say, compared to that other pass, that it was only eight pounds of boost and running severely lean most of the pass. So, there is a, a lot of work to be done on the closed loop fueling. 12.2. Hey, 16760 foot, so that is way better to the 60 foot. I don't even remember my last pass, my 60 foot was at 176, so a lot better. Felt way smoother, uh, but it definitely needed more boost. I guess we'll see what the data log says, but I think that might be it for tonight. Well, that was a heck of a lot better. Uh, it actually wasn't that much quicker. I was hoping for a lot quicker, but uh, it felt way better. It looked way better. It felt so much better. The launch, I was like, oh. <laughs> It felt so much better. Definitely not my personal best or quickest or anything like that, but way, way smoother, just better overall. It was only a 12.2, um, but again, it just felt so much smoother. Um, but yeah, very tiring. Uh, I definitely think there's a lot of work that needs to be done on my operating system. So need to figure out why that's not working as expected because like I said before uh, it's off now um, and that's really the only change I made so something's going on with that have something reversed or something because it went super lean in that first run and now it's not so it's like really it looked air fuels I peaked when I was going down the track and uh, they were like on point so and that pass was only 9.1 pounds of boost which is you know pretty much what I expected I expected a low 12 maybe high 11 it wasn't also building like as much rpm on the launch um it was like slowly getting there but I didn't want to sit at the light forever and just like put a bunch of heat into the transmission and whatnot it really tells me I just need to put that other converter in like I really need to put that other torque converter because this converter is way too tight I could cut a way better a while too. Yeah, I could cut a way better 60 foot. It's just a really terrible thing to take apart a running car. Yeah. It's running, it's driving, and I had to tear the whole transmission out to change the converter. Could you get it could you get it back together by drag week? Yeah, I mean I, I plan on putting at least I would like to get the converter and the camshaft in. The camshaft's probably the more difficult one. Um Yeah, because I'd like to pull the motor, but yeah, that's getting in uh, way, uh, way many other things. But yeah, um, I really just need to get the other torque converter in here. But yeah, uh, work needs to be done on the custom operating system to fix it. And uh, yeah, so I'll, we'll probably show the data logs and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap this as far as the track. I think we're going to get out of here. Hey guys, well, it's been a couple days. I spent yesterday pretty much the next day after the track day, trying to figure out the issue. Probably spent a couple hours staring at my computer, trying to understand the data logs, which I've looked through, um, obviously missing the EGR, um, basically the wideband data log, um, which kind of sucked because that would have been really helpful, but um, I didn't need it. I found out, I think I found out the issue and it was a one line of code, one assembly instruction. Figures, uh, I just switched a couple registers in an instruction and that pretty much I'm sure caused the issue. So right now, flashing the fix to the truck and hopefully be able to take it for a drive and uh, verify that it is now fixed and that the closed loop wideband control will work with the stock ECU. So yeah, get this thing flashed and uh, take it for a spin. And also here are my terrible times. This was my first pass, and uh, yeah, going lean pretty much the entire pass. I think I lifted around probably, I don't know, the thousand 
foot mark or so because I slowed down after that fact, maybe even slightly before that because I really wasn't going that much faster, even though it was, you know, it was a really slow pass. And this was what the first pass was supposed to be like. Uh, a low 12, I expected, uh, or maybe a high 11. I probably could have got a better 60 foot, but I was really expecting um, that I'd be able to launch a little higher RPM. But yeah, I really just need to toss that new converter that's probably sitting on this shelf right in that box somewhere around there. Oh yeah, I need to put that in. Okay, well, we're gonna jump in the truck, go for a drive and see if a wideband closed loop works. And when I get back, I'm gonna see if I can fix that stupid alternator belt or alternator pulley squeak squeal. Super annoying. It looks like closed loop is working. It's like, you know, hovering around right around one lambda. So that's good. That's a good sign. It was doing that before at low load, but once I got into uh, like any kind of boost and the target, you know, air fuel would try and go like to like 0.8 lambda, it was going extremely lean. And like I said, it was a simple fix, um, but it took me a while to figure it out. So hopefully we can get into a little bit of boost and uh, make sure it's working as expected. Didn't go lean, so that's good. I think it's working. Quick launch. That was a 12 pounds boost. All right, we're back in the garage. Got the alternator cooling down so I can yank it off and try and do some more sanding to the ribs of the pulley. I'm really hoping that that's what's causing it. Really couldn't get sandpaper on it quite easily with it running but it's really going to be easy once it's spinning so i think i'm going to yank it off hook it up to the drill get it spinning and i'll be able to easily get to all of the ribs and sand them and scuff them up because i'm i'm still thinking that that chirping of the all uh, serpentine belt is from the smoothness of that powder coated pulley so gonna try that out and uh yeah that pretty much wraps it up the lean issue i think is fixed i'm gonna you know, dive into the data log. Um, haven't looked at it yet, but I mean, just from how it felt and also, you know, I was peeking down at the air fuel ratio, it looks good. It looks like it's fixed. Uh, so now wide band closed loop fueling with this stock ECU, no problem, works great. Um, to be determined, other features coming. Still thinking about version five. Uh, haven't decided on anything yet, but yeah. That's it. We'll see you guys later.